Life and family has a new one. And so these children have to rely on parents. Why? Because they can't take care of themselves. Amen. And I know you think you've grown because you're a certain age and because you've accomplished a certain amount of stuff or whatever and you've done this and you've done that. But you're not grown to him. Amen. 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 I'm his baby. And I'll be his baby. I'm maturing and I'm growing all the time. But I'll be his baby as long as I live on this planet. I'll be his baby. Because I'm relying on him to take care of me. I rely on him to protect me. I rely on his security. I rely on him keeping me. When I call on him, I rely. Listen, I wait on him. To, I wait to hear from him. Ah. <coughs> talking now. Wait to hear from him. Amen. Talking. Because he is my God. Yes, sir. This demands us to trust in the Lord's loving purposes of him being sovereign God according to his purpose. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it is in his providence that God orchestrates every event that goes on in the classroom of life. Amen. Even suffering, even temptation. Even sin to accomplish both our temporal and our eternal benefit. Yeah. In Deuteronomy 8, verses 15 through 16, go there and find it yourself. It'll show you that God did not, listen, God took the suffering, the temptation, the sin, everything to get the Israelites on the right track. Mm -hmm. But it took them 40 years when it only would have taken them like two weeks. Y'all, it was only taking them two weeks to get to the promised land. Yeah, yeah. But it took them 40 years. Why? It's because they were absent. They were disobedient. Yeah, yeah. They were disobedient yeah. all the time. Yes, they were. And so this morning, yeah. stop being disobedient. Yeah. Yeah. Know that God has your life in his hand yeah, because yeah. it is yeah. a classroom of life. And guess what? A lot of the stuff that you're going through, you're going through it not just because you made the choices and the decisions, but God had already preordained that stuff in your life. It was already ordained. God designed the test of the wilderness so that Israelites might be disciplined to obey him. Listen, the reason why we got those stories from the Old Testament is so that we don't have to go through the stuff that they were going through. Paul wrote about it to the Corinthians. Yes, he did. Yep. Yeah. Through her obedience, she received the blessings of the land. I'm talking about Israel. So God designs was to do good for Israel at the end of the process. Listen, you don't have to keep going through the stuff that you're going through Amen. by yourself. You got help. Your help is in the Lord. Amen. Psalms 121, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. And so you don't have to go through this new year by yourself. Amen. But you're going to have to learn how to trust somebody. So yeah, from the yeah. start, don't trust me. Amen. I'm telling you, don't even, don't even. Amen. You can come to me. You can share with me. I'll sit down with you. I'll counsel with you. I'll pray with you. I'll go over scripture with you. Don't trust me. Yeah. You like to read. Read. Paul said, read. Said, um, you know, Paul told them, he said, look, uh, you know, they said, we, we're going to go behind you and study this thing again because mm -hmm. you said so and so and so. -and -so. Whatever he shared with them, they wanted to see for themselves. They weren't like most people. Mm -hmm. They went and they looked for themselves. How many of y'all are going to leave from here today? And go through Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 7 again. Without all the stuff I just said to you, mm. and just see how true it is. How many of y'all would put God to the test and just see what He would do based on His word? Amen. Come on, Doc. Come on, Doc. Trust Amen. Him. I trust Him. Trust Him today. On, I trust Him. That's what you would do. I tell y'all all the time: take advantage of His promises. Take advantage of His word. Take advantage of yeah. what He has to offer you because. His offer is the best offer. Yes, sir. There's nothing else out here that can top yes, what God can do. There's nothing yes, else out here that can top what God can do. Zero. That's right. Yes, Zero. Yes, and so who are you trusting today? Because in this classroom of life, because listen, you're going to go through life. Amen. Yes, yes. And that's what you're doing. Yes. So that's what we do, baby sis. When we, when we hurt, when we're going through grief, when we're going through pain, when we're going through sorrow tonight, what we're doing is it's called life, Lisa. When yeah, somebody yeah, hurts, yeah. it's called life. Yeah. I know some of y'all think it's something else. It's called life. That's right. That's right. That's it. It, it, everything that we go through is it called life. Yeah. It's how you respond to it. Right. There you go. That's the deal. It's how you respond. 
I don't trust in him at all. Yeah. And I'm going to lean out on to my own understanding. I am not yeah. smart enough right. to contend with God. Yeah. Out of all the education that I have, I humble myself every time I go to God because guess what? I don't have the answer, Sandra, until he gives it to me. Yeah. I really don't have the answer until he gives it to me. Once he gives it to me, then I can I feel like I got the green light, I can go. You know, the only way I went to Brazil was that I fancy and prayed. I didn't just go to Brazil because y'all sent me to Brazil. I went to Brazil because I prayed. Yeah. And I'm so glad that I prayed and I fasted before I got there because I could have lost my life in Brazil. Yeah. That's how yeah. it was. Where yeah. we were at. We were yeah. in spots that all I could think about is, Tops, I need my nine. I have my nine. <laughs> oh, y'all see y'all laughing. But listen, we was in some spots. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I was like, hey, Lord, all I could think about was like, Lord, I need a nine right now. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Wow. I mean, it was that bad. Wow. And if I had my nine, Sandra, I know I would have been in good state. I know you think about that, but that's what I would have been Please get away. I'm just telling y'all. Trust God. Trust God. Trust him with your life. Trust him with your breath. That's it. Breathe. Exactly. Listen, he gave right. you the breath that you breathe. Yes, he did. You know, folk are leaving this place every day. Yes, sir. Guess what? They have loved ones we love them, but guess what? It's like us. It's like us. Yeah. And because guess what? You're going to do it too. That's right. right. You're going to go with me. You're going to make that trip. That's right. Oh, oh, all but the deal right. is, are you going to be ready to make the trip? Hey, man. Are you going to be ready to face him? Because you're going to face him. You ain't got to face me. I might be standing over you saying some good words, doing your eulogy or whatever, but you ain't got to face me again. You might have to face him. All of us want to have to face him. All of them. All of them. So who are you trusting? I'm trusting him with everything. Why? Because if he decided to take the breath out of my body right now, there's nothing y'all can do to protect me. Y'all can bring me back. That's who God is. Oh. Oh. All right, let's stand to our feet. The door to the church open. If you, yeah, you clap for God. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. You know you clap for God. I know sometimes messages can, you know, sometimes folk want to hear stuff to make them feel good, but it's not a feel good time.